Hello, my name is Augusto Gonçalves. Welcome to this video on how to deploy your Autodesk Forge application on Amazon Elastic Beamstock. This is for .NET apps. So this video assumes that you have uh, an application created with the tutorial Learn Forge, but also applies to any other .NET application and specifically in this case for Forge applications. So in this case, we are assuming that you did the entire tutorial and you are now on the deployment stage of your uh, application. For this, we're going to use, use uh, AWS Elastic Beamstock. Uh, I'm not going to explain how it works or the benefits, so please take a look at the website for a better understanding. You also need the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. Make sure to download and install it so you can get used to it. And also make sure to create an account on Elastic on AWS. And uh, here's your uh, the main account from uh, AWS. That's my account and that's the region Oregon that I selected for this sample. Okay, so after you install the toolkit, when you for the first time you open Visual Studio, you see something like this, uh, the uh, UI, so where you can import your credentials from AWS. So let's go back to AWS, go to IAM, and create a user to deploy our application. So we go to Users and Add User, and let's call it Learn Forge, and that's a programmatic access for this application. Click Next, and we're going to attach existing policies for this project. And let's search for Elastic Bean Stock. Let's select Full Access for this. Next, that's going to create the, the user and create the user. Now I can download the CSV for this file. Go to Visual Studio. Let's call it EBS access and import the CSV file from downloads, save and close. Okay, so this is my project that I have created on the, based on the Learn Forge tutorial. So uh, there is nothing really special about this sample, uh, any different from anything. You probably have on the, your app config, web config, you have something like this, Forge client ID, here's your client ID and here's your secret. Uh, and this, is, it, this should be your development uh, ID and secret, not your production ID and secret. So when we deploy, if we don't, uh, if we leave this uh, ID like this, uh, EBS will use this, but I don't want to mix uh, development and production environments. So let's go to uh, the web config file and let's add a few lines here at the very end, almost at the very end. This is basically telling uh, Visual Studio to uh, remove the client ID and client secret keys from the web config when deploying to release. So that's our production environment. So I can replace that uh, on the runtime on, on EBS, right? So let's save this. So this, this is the only change I had to do. And let's right click on my project and select Publish to AWS Elastic Beamstock. And here I have my, my user, the region where I want to deploy. And I want to create a new application environment. And let's click Next. Uh, this is the name of the application. This is also the environment of the application. And that's the name of my application. I can just leave it as for sample. Check if it's available. It is. Click Next. So here's the type of machine that I'm using the instance type, the container type, the instance type, the, the, and the, the other sets that I have for AWS. I don't have to change anything here. Click Next. Finally, those are the roles. Just leave it as, the edit, as it is for now. Now I have the environment that I want to, the settings that I want to deploy my application. In this case, I want to deploy as release, .NET 4.0. That's my application. That's my uh, label. And here are my uh, client ID and secret, right? So this is my Forge client ID and Forge client secret. And as I said, uh, if I go to my apps on Forge, I have my development environment, but I have my production environment. 
So I, I want to use keys for production. So that's my client ID for production. And this is my, my secret for production. Okay, next. So this is uh, just summarizing the whole thing. And I can click on deploy. I can see on the output that something is happening. So it's uploading the project, compiling and uploading the project. So if I go, if I wait that to finish, and okay, so now it's the process. Uh, it uploaded the whole the entire project, and now the process is running up on on uh, Elastic Beamstock. And if I go here back to AWS, right here, uh, Elastic Beamstock. So this is the application I just deployed. Uh, this is just a test that I did before. Don't worry about it. It's going to it's, it's going away in a, in a in a in a couple hours. So this is the application that I'm deploying. If I click here, I can see that the application is uh, it's it's preparing for deployment. And uh, yeah, that this process may take a few minutes. So I will stop the video here and come back when the deployment is done. Okay, so now the process is done. Successfully launched the environment for sample prod. And if I, I can see here my address of my application. If I right click and open a new tab, I can see my application running, right? So let's come back to here and go to configuration. And if I can go to modify my software and scroll all the way, I can see my Forge client ID, my Forge client secret. So this is here. Just to make sure that we are not uh, mixing up the environments, let's run my application. So this is my uh, product, my development application, and this is my uh, this is my production application, and this is my development application. You see that the list of buckets is different because I have different uh, different set of uh, ID and secret for each environment. That's it. Thank you for watching.